Indiana Task Force One has been in Kentucky now for more than a week, helping with those rescue efforts. Fox 39's Leah Blackburn shows us how Hoosiers are stepping up to answer the call across state lines. It's been a little more than a week now since Indiana Task Force One deployed to Kentucky, but as of right now, a return date has yet to be set. Very unfortunate. We were uh, we're kind of we're staged right now. There's a bunch of severe weather moving through, a lot of heavy rain. With more rain expected to hit eastern Kentucky, crews are standing by. Over the last several days, Task Force Leader Jay Settergren says they've worked tirelessly to help search and rescue efforts after last week's heavy rain and devastating floods. The hardest thing is just uh, getting around right now, and the limited communications are, are very difficult. Uh, they have no power, no, no phones. We know... Um that our neighbors to the south have been hurting. Back home in central Indiana, Hoosiers are stepping up to send help across state lines. When it's right next door, uh, that sense of it could be our turn someday is even more realistic. With help from Hoosiers and major corporations nearby, Gleaners and Midwest Food Banks are already sending trucks filled with food and water. Even though the role is smaller compared to past responses, John Elliott with Gleaners says the impact is just as big. I think part of it is that very generous Hoosier spirit that uh, we do step up and we do volunteer to help our neighbors. From Indiana to Kentucky, it's about getting more support on the ground, whatever it takes to help neighbors through tough times. We know that they would uh, come up and help us if we were in need in Indiana, so it's, uh, you know, obviously we want to come down and help our neighbors to the south and do whatever we can to help. In Indianapolis, Celia Blackburn, Fox 59 News. Well, you could help people affected by the flood by scanning this QR code that's on your screen right now with your phone. That will take you to a page to donate through the Christian Appalachian Project. Our parent company, Nexstar, has partnered with the charity to help. And join us on Sunday night for a special program about Kentucky flood relief.